Hello, welcome to the course of Fundamentals of Computer Science. My name is Yan Long Jai. I'm from the School of Computer Science, Beijing Institute of Technology. So these are the contact information of me. And you can send me an email. You can also uh, contact, me, contact me in the WeChat group. All the course materials will be uploaded to the Lexure system. You can go to this link to check the slides and also the videos. The course totally including 32 hours and 24 hours for the lectures and 8 hours for the labs. And the final score including mainly three parts, the homework takes 10% and the projects 30% and the final exam 60%. So the course will talk about the computer science. So what exactly is the computer science? So the computer science is study of the, you know, the computers, of course, and also the computation methodology, is, is including the, the theoretical and the algorithms of the fundamentals, hardware, software, and how to solve the problems using a computation way. So this is the, 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 you know, the range of the computer science. Uh, definitely, computer science is not about how to fix a computer and, or how to use the uh, applications installed in your computer. So in this course, we are not going to teach you how to use the Microsoft Office or how to use the Windows. We're going to teach you how to understand the computer and how to um, design the software. So why we should study computer science is because computers are everywhere in the digital age. You can basically work in any industry using the computer. Um, just like uh, what we can see in the, in the image, so the computers are in the embedded sensors, it's also in the cars, in the cell phones, refrigerators, and uh, also in the in internet. So let's take uh, Google as an example. So I think everyone has been used the Google before. So it's a very simple web page. Um, so what you need to do is just to input your keywords in the searching uh, searching uh, field and then you click the button and the Google will show you the result. So what we, what actually how, how do we uh, implement a system like Google? So if we look into the details of the Google, first of all first we can see um, the Google is actually driven by a lot of transistors and you can use the transistors to build the circuit. Okay, so this is the you know like the circuit. It's a very large using the very large integration technology to put millions or billions of transistors into the circuit. And then we have a circuit, and then we have a CPU, and then we have a machine. So after a machine, of course, one machine is not enough. So Google actually deployed thousands of machines in the server farm. It's actually uh, this is the server farm. So they built the server farm. Uh, somewhere near the, the, the river so that the electricity there will be cheaper compared with the you know the normal places. So um, they have a server farm. So in order to manage the thousands of uh, servers, they have to build some software. Uh, first, the, the first software you, they have to build is the storage um, software. So they build a, a file system called the uh, GFS means the Google file system. Okay, so this is the G GFS. The, the Google file system is different from the regular file system because it's a distributed file system. So the GFS can manage thousands of machines. So in order to provide tremendous uh, storage space for the, for the web pages, because Google need to download all the web pages and then store the web pages in their file system. And then after you have, have a file system, uh, you also need to design some uh, processing application. So they, they design a mechanism called the MapReduce. So this is the MapReduce. So this is a distributed computing uh, platform. So on top of the GFS, and then you have a MapReduce. So you can send out thousands of uh, tasks on each of the, the server so that you can process the information rapidly 
and then you have the uh, uh, map radius. You also need to de design the, the algorithm to search the web pages. So they define a page rank algorithm. So they use the page rank al algorithm to uh, try to rank all the relevant pages uh, in order to show the most relevant uh, pages to the user. And then finally, they build the web page, so which is the, a very simple and clean web page. Just this one uh, input field, you can input the keyword into the the field, and then you can search the result. So this is pretty much um, the the whole stack of the Google system. So from the very uh, top and to the very details of the of the hardware set. Yeah, you can see from uh, left side is the name of the, the layer. And right side is in, including the related technologies. So we have the, at the very top is the neuro, neural language processing technology and text and the information. And then you have the algorithms, data structure, and the programming languages, software engineering, and the reliability file system, operating system, uh, consensus, and distributed system, networking, storage, uh, computer architecture, parallel computing. So each of the layer actually include, uh, you know, related with several courses in the computer science. So of course, we hope we can cover all of the aspects related to application like Google. But the situation is that computers, computer hardware has developed rapidly, and there are many interesting softwares and we haven't uh, enough time to learn uh, learn everything. So in this course, we are going to just uh, study the, the the basic concepts and uh, basic uh, uh, algorithms and basic uh, technologies uh, in the in the computer science. So this shows you the the syllabus of the of the course. In the first uh, lecture, we're going to introduce the computer, and then the second lecture, we're going to introduce uh, how to represent data in the computer, uh, particularly using the binary. And in the third, third uh, lecture, we're going to introduce the hardware, and then the operating system, file system, and the multimedia system, and then the software design and programming. And then we'll go to the information system and the database management system. And then go to the network and the internet. Uh, finally, the computer uh, security. So how to learn the system? Of course, you take the classes, uh, you know, um, watch the videos and uh, uh, do the homeworks, do the projects. We don't need a particular textbook for this course because all the uh, materials and uh, all the information I put in the slides. So you can just uh, read the slides and uh, also watch the video. So if you uh, really want to read a book, you can go to this link to uh, try to buy this book. So the name of the book is uh, Computer Science or an Overview. So which is a good book, you can actually find all the information there. So this is what we are going to learn in this course, and I hope you guys will like this course.